Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to this Come Shop With Me at B&M. The reason that I'm doing this video is because I hadn't been into B&M for about five months and I thought while I was in there I would take a little bit of footage to show you guys what's in my local store. Now if this is the first time that you've stumbled across my channel then a very warm welcome to you. My name is Charlie and I create content on lifestyle, shopping hauls, home decorating and I do like to bring a Come Shop With Me now and again. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the home decor range. I'm also going to be showing you cushions, bedding, kitchen, and also bathroom. I decided not to go into the cleaning aisle because this video would have been a lot longer than what it already is, and it is quite lengthy. So pause the video, go and grab yourself some nice snacks and a nice cozy drink. Also, don't forget that you can help my channel to grow by hitting that red subscribe button down below, giving this video a thumbs up, and also leave me a comment in the comments box. I do like to get back to all of my comments and I do like to get to know you all. Now, because I haven't been into B&M for five months, I'm not quite sure if these are new, but they were only eight pound and I just thought they were so nice. Now I've actually purchased this, so I know this isn't new. It was eight pound and it is the cream bars with the jute handles. Come to think of it, I don't even know where that is in my house at the minute. Now the last time I was in B&M, I didn't spot this, but it is a beautiful piece. It was 10 pound. We've got some brown eucalyptus in there. It's in a test tube. I didn't pick it up as I'm trying to stay away from brown, but this candle was something else. It had a scalloped edge, which is all very in at the moment, and it was £5. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. So the last time I was in B&M, I'm sure i seen this candle. It is from the Harvest range, which makes me think it's from autumn. But again, that was only £5 as well. I'm seeing these candles all over. These were £4 and they had them in the cream. Now I'm not sure if I had them in any other colours, but I do think they are really stylish. Now as we move up, this oil burner, I absolutely loved it. The only problem and the only reason that I didn't buy it was it, it is in a cream and it was £4. Had it been in the white or the black, I would have definitely picked it up. And then we had some beautiful rib vases with the eucalyptus in. And I just thought they would look really nice styled in your kitchen or on a coffee table. And then they've done little bunches of pampas and bunny tails. These were £3, which I thought were a little bit pricey when you can go to different stores and get a bigger bunch for much less. This was a really nice piece for £6. It was more like a donut shaped vase with a bit of pampas and a bit of eucalyptus in but I thought for £6 that wasn't badly priced and then we had some tea light holders now these said they were £2 but underneath they did say they'd been reduced to £1 so if you're like me and you go to B&M you constantly have your B&M scanner out because sometimes they just haven't got round to marking down the prices this donut vase was £6 we've seen these before I've definitely seen these in B&M and then as we move up, we've got some more vases with pampas, eucalyptus. I especially like this one, it was £8. And then this is definitely new, it's from the Sanctuary range, it was £15, but it was absolutely huge. I imagined Pussy Willow in this, pampas grass, or even some eucalyptus, but if you're wanting to put a really large vase into your home, then that one was absolutely beautiful for £15. Now I've seen these before as well with the grey pampas grass in. They are £10 and if the cream pampas grass is not for you, then I do like the fact that you've got the option of the grey. So we've got some smoked glass vases there as well at a reasonable price of £8. I've actually picked this up previously in a B&M haul, but I didn't pay £4 for it. I only paid two, so I'm not sure as to why that's gone back up. I did actually like this knot. Now in my home recently, I've started to put black and little quirky pieces like this, I do really like. So I may pop back and pick that up. 
Now this vase, I absolutely loved it. The texture on this wasn't the best. It was eight pound and it's quite irregular, but I just thought again, just to style in your home, it would look so nice. You don't even have to put anything in that. And then I noticed a reed diffuser in the white and silver with the black reeds. They were five pound. I would have liked it if the top had been gold. I may have purchased it if it was gold. It's just silver's not into my home at the minute. And then as we move down, we've got some more candles, some candlesticks in silver. Now, if you've watched my range haul, you'd know that I picked up a black candlestick recently. So I didn't actually see a black one in B&M today. This vase was really nice. I did like the shape of that. It was six pound. However, I'm not sure what you could put in that. Now I bought something like this the last time I was in B&M. Now rather than just replacing it all the time, I just get some cooking matches and replace the matches. Again, I'm not sure if this is new. If it's not, then please let me know down below, but it was only eight pound. It was the black donut vase with a couple of sprigs of eucalyptus in. And again, I absolutely love pieces like this. I have noticed in B&M today that there's quite a lot of pieces like this. Now this is not new because I've actually purchased this before and I've actually donated it to a charity shop. So it goes to show how long it's been in. But again, I just think they're brilliant for styling your coffee table with a little bit of a display. And then I noticed for three pounds, they had different colors of the miniature donut vases. And then on the top, we've got some glassware. I do still actually love a glass vase. They remind me so much of the White Company and B&M had quite a selection. What is your favorite part of B&M? I have to say my favorite part is the candles. Now my B&M had such a selection. These candles were only £3.50 and they've done them in all different sizes and all different scents. The different scents were all different colours, so we had vanilla, we had peach, we had eucalyptus. But this by far is my favourite part of B&M. I love going to B&M and smelling the candles. I'd like to know in the comments down below what your favourite part of B&M is. If candles aren't for you, but wax melts are, then they also done the scents in the wax melts as well for £1.50. I absolutely love the wax melts from B&M. My favourite one is Fireside Marshmallows. That tends to only come out round about autumn and winter. But again, you've got your tea lights in the scents as well. And below the tea lights, we had the oils. So if you prefer essential oils, then they've done the oils in them as well. Now we're going to move over to one of my favourite parts. These are the wax melts that I absolutely love. They are £1.50. Now this one was mandarin lime and basil. Again, this is a really nice scent. I do like the pomegranate, which is the dupe to the Jo Malone. And they also done them in the candles as well. They had such a selection. Now these ones here, they remind me of the White Company. I have said it before, they are £2. These were blackberry and beer. And again, the White Company do a scent of wild blackberry. And I'm not quite sure if they do smell similar, but they definitely look a dupe. Now this is the Jo Malone dupe. It is the pomegranate candle and they were £3. So if you're wanting dupes or anything like that, then go to B&M and have a sniff of their candles. Now if you've been on my channel for quite some time, you will know I absolutely love bringing dupe videos. If you're wanting to see any dupes or any dupe type of content, then please let me know down below and I will do my best to bring you one. Now I absolutely love this. I've recently bought a black candelabra from the range. I have showed it in one of my videos and I just think it's a little bit too big. But this one today in B&M was £4 and it was in the gold which would go absolutely perfect in my front room. So I may have to nip back because I didn't actually pick it up on this occasion. So very similar to the candle that I showed you at the beginning of this video, but they did actually do that in a black and they were £3. Look at all the different candles that they've got, all the different colours, all the different sizes, the shapes. I absolutely love this section and it smells absolutely amazing. Now these wax melts are something else. 
they're in escape, unwind, restore and sleep. And I have to say, at the first time that I ever smelt these, I was very impressed. My favourite is the Restore, which is a sandalwood and cedar. Now, I haven't actually smelt the sleep. So today, I took the advantage, while it was on the shelf, to have a little smell of it. And I have to say, it does smell absolutely beautiful. So they do the wax melts, they do the candles, and they also do the larger candles. So these small candles were £4. The wax melts were £1.50 and the bigger candles are £5 or £6 I believe but look at the selection, I was spoiled for choice however, if you've been here for some time you will know I've just purchased a mountain of candles from TK Maxx so I decided against candles today but that's not to say that I won't go back and purchase a few these succulents were really sweet I did like this one, it was in a bubble container and it was only £4. Now again, I love succulents for styling shelves, bedside tables, just to put that little bit of greenery into your home. And if you're like me, I'm not very good with plants, so I tend not to buy any real plants because they don't last very long in my home. So succulents and four flowers and four plants are for me. Don't forget guys if you are enjoying this type of content and you'd like to see more then please hit that subscribe button. It does help my channel to grow and I do really appreciate it. I'm on the road to 4,000 subscribers and I do hope that with your help I will be able to get there. Also, don't forget, you can head on over to my Instagram and you can leave me a private message if you've got any video recommendations that you'd like me to do. I know that some of my subscribers cannot get out of the house and they do like to have a look at what's in store so that they can go online and purchase what I've showed them. Okay, and then we have got some more vases with some four flowers in. Now, I did actually love this one. Why I didn't pick it up, I don't know. I will be doing a haul on items that I did pick up, so do make sure that you are subscribed and you've hit that notification bell so that you don't miss what I picked up. Now, recently I did tell you that my daughter's going to university and my daughter does tend to come to B&M with me and pick up a few items. So some items that I will show you in a haul will be my daughter's, but I'll also make you aware of that. I thought this was absolutely beautiful. It was £12. It was a white vase with just some eucalyptus in. Very stylish, very me. And then as we move up, we've got a different type of vase, but this has got the grey pussy willow in. And again, this was also £12. I've said it before on my channel, home decor and little accessories shouldn't cost the earth. Now I find B&M, The Range, Dunnell and even Poundland are really good for home decor pieces. And they're the type of places that I create content on because I just find them so much more cheaper than other places. B&M have quite a selection of these vases with the foliage in and I don't know why but I've always loved these black wire containers with a test tube. I don't know why they always catch my eye and I always think I'm going to get one. However, I never ever pick them up so something's telling me not to buy one. 
Now I don't know where I've seen it, but I've definitely seen this styled. It is a little bit pricey, it's £22, but I've definitely seen this styled somewhere. Then we've got the selection of four flowers. Now I absolutely love four flowers and again B&M, The Range, Poundland, they are the best places for these flowers. You will have seen, if you've been here for some time, I actually put these flowers in Christmas trees. So when I find them cheap, I tend to buy them, pop them away, and when the time comes, they get placed in my Christmas trees. Now I've always loved these Welcome to Our Home or Home Sweet Home signs that you can hang the keys on, which is quite strange because I wouldn't hang my keys up in my home. I have a jar in my home where everything goes, so anything that's in my pockets goes in this jar, my car keys, my house keys, even my cards go in there. I'm not sure if these are new but they are a candle and they've got different colours on the feet and they were £4 each, I've not seen them before so they may be new, they may not be, like I said I haven't been into B&M for about 5 months and then I've always seen the chubby chumps, wax melts but not the Frutella ones so I used to love Frutellas, they were one of my favourite sweets back in the day but you can get the wax melts and the wax burner for £3 which I thought was a a bargain to say the least and then again we've got some more candles now I did like the look of these ones we had hoar, we had linen there was also eucalyptus and they've got a cork lid they were only five pound each which I thought was great Now I absolutely love this, just as a decor piece, but it was £4, it was glass and it had the brass on the top. Now I've recently purchased one and I think it was from B&M and it was in the sale and it was a smoked glass and it had the black on the top, which again, it fits into my home perfectly. B&M had a wide selection of wax burners today, I absolutely love wax burners, but they are quite cheap in B&M, so if you're looking for a nice wax burner, then I would say head to B&M first. I actually have seen this previous, it was £8 and I'm sure I've seen that in the sale again. So I'm not sure as to why they keep putting stuff in the sale and then bringing it back to full price. This is the one that I've got, it was £3.50 and like what I said, I just get some cooking matches and pop them in there. Quite a selection of the white candles, so if you like the white candle then B&M have got a selection of them. They also do the pillar candles in all different shapes, sizes. They also do the LED candles as well. Now my daughter actually bought an LED one because she doesn't actually like naked flames. These were very much of a white company dupe, they were £3. If you go onto the white company you'll see that they do candles like this and I think it's in the Seychelles scent but they were unscented in B&M today. When I picked this up I didn't actually realise how heavy it was going to be. It is a candle, it was £5 and it is from the Noir range. I absolutely love this but again like what I said previously I didn't need any more candles so I didn't pick any up. They also done some nice little vases, now this was beautiful, it had black pampas in and it was quite in a regular shape, it was only £5. I find B&M do these little pieces like this, I mean this one here with the black and the cream pampas was only £6 and I just think styled on a shelf 
on top of a book or something like that it just sets the shelves off now these were reduced they were only a pound they were tea light holders and candlestick holders however they were damaged so always be careful when you're looking for clearance items in B&M because sometimes they are scratched or damaged now this was right up my street it was a black wax burner and it was three pound now this piece i have seen this previously in b&m so i know that's not new but again pieces like this are very much still in style and then as we move over this is what i was telling you about this is the one that i purchased and it was in the sale for two pound and it still is in the sale for two pound okay this trend has been out for quite some time now it is the pieces that i've got faces on i'm not quite sure about them it's not to my liking this is though this was absolutely beautiful it was 10 pounds it's got the black pampas in this vase was absolutely stunning unfortunately it didn't have a barcode on for me to scan and it also never had a price on but I didn't need another vase but it would have looked absolutely beautiful on a mantelpiece or on a sideboard. And then I noticed that in the same range, in the Noir range, they had the cream and black bunny tails. Again they were £3 a bunch and all you need to do is get a little vase and pop them in and make your own home decor pieces. Now this, again, I'm not sure if it's new, but I've not seen it. It was £6 and I thought this would look beautiful on a bathroom window sale. This vase was stunning. I loved it. It was £5. However, I didn't need any more vases, so I didn't pick it up on this occasion. Now, I absolutely love pieces like this where it's see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. But if you've watched any of my other videos, so I've recently done a Poundland haul where I picked up a hand gesture, I also picked up a rabbit. I do love pieces like that. This is new. I have seen this on their social media. It was £10 and it was absolutely huge. I just think with the display flowers in, that would have looked beautiful and then i'm just going to show you these throws these were an absolute bargain they were three pound each they did have an array of colors i did like the black and i also like the beige but they did have quite a selection now i didn't need any more throws i've got a basket that i actually need to go through and shut out some of the throws that i'm not actually using as we move around i'm going to show you a selection of cushions now this olive green cushion, they were two for £12, which I thought was an absolute bargain. And then these checked cushions, I think they're new. I absolutely loved this one though. This one would look lovely on a bed or on your sofa. But I did actually like this one again, two for £12, not bad at all. Then they had the check in the beige, they were two for £12. I did actually like them, I thought they were really nice. They'd done them in the darker grey as well. So if you've got a really nice chair, you could actually accessorise it with these cushions. These cushions were absolutely beautiful. They were £8 each, so they weren't in the 2 for 12 But I just thought, how beautiful are them? They've got the Pussy Willow on. And I just think it would look beautiful on any sofa. They've done the boucle ones. They've done a selection. So I'm just going to just scan over a few that caught my eye. They've got the checked in the blue. These would be really nice on a, a outdoor garden furniture. These, not to my liking. But if they're the colours that you like and you like that type of thing, then B&M do have a good selection of cushions. I recently went into Dunelm looking for cushions and I was a bit disappointed actually that B&M had a better selection than Dunelm. Now as we move down we can see these beautiful beige and cream cushions. They were £8 each. They did also have them in the black and white. I will show you them in a moment. 
but I just need to draw your attention to this pillow. I absolutely fell in love with this pillow. It was £10 and I almost bought it, but I couldn't decide if I wanted that one or I wanted this one for £8. Now, this one just reminds me of a humbug. And then as we move down, these are £16. This is the Aspen Throw. Now, I've actually got one of these throws in a mustard when my home was mustard and white. And I will not get rid of it. It's a beautiful throw. It's so warm. It's so toasty. But B&M did have a large selection of throws. And I just think for the price, is absolutely brilliant. This one was an extra large one and it was £15. And sometimes you just don't have to put your heating on. Just put a throw on. Sometimes people forget that we need to layer up in the colder months. And I lay with a blanket every single time that I'm relaxing. I love to feel nice and toasty. I love a blanket. And I do tend to go to B&M for my blankets. So I'm just going to show you the selection that they've got. I love this waffle one. This was £20. Absolutely gorgeous. I loved it. But this is the selection of throws that B&M do have. I am going to actually show you some of the bedding in B&M as well because B&M bedding doesn't get the credit that it deserves because it is absolutely beautiful. So at Christmas, I actually had a boulder pillar on my bed from Primark and I noticed that B&M had them in as well and they were £10 and I just thought, am I missing something off my bed? I have got the knot pillow that I bought from Rowan. I will insert a photograph of that. But I'm thinking, do I now get a boulder pillow? What do you think, guys? Do you think I should put a boulder pillow on my bed to set my bed off? Or do I stay with my knot pillow? Okay, and as promised, I am going to show you the bedding that is in my local B&M because this is where I buy all of my bedding from, whether it's spring, summer, Christmas. B&M has the best bedding and for the affordable prices as well. Now, I absolutely love this one. It is the Lara. It's £25 for a king and it was in the black. But my go-to are the white sets. Now, B&M have some beautiful white duvet sets in store. This one gives me white company vibes through and through. And I thought that was a bargain price of £14 for the king size. This is the one that I've actually got on my bed at the moment. It is the Chelsea Lux Waffle. It was £25. It's absolutely beautiful. However, it does click if you have long nails like myself. They have some beautiful cream ones in as well. Now, I did actually love this one. It was £15 for a double. I didn't actually see it in the king size, but again, very affordable, very on trend. And then they do some essential ones. I will show you them in a moment, but they done them for £10 each. And my daughter has actually purchased some for when she goes to university. But let's have a look at the Isla Embossed. It's £25. Absolutely beautiful. I love being embedding. You will not see me buy bedding from anywhere else apart from B&M or Primark. In my opinion, they have the best bedding. And I actually priced off something very similar to what I've got on my bed at the moment from Dunelm. And what cost me £25 was going to cost me three figures for the full set which is a little bit pricey 
These are beautiful as well. £30 for the king, £25 for the single and £30 for the double. They would look beautiful on any bed. This caught my eye, even though it's not very me. But I just thought it looked so fresh, so clean. This reminded me of something so fresh. And I've seen something like this in Dunelm. But believe me when I say that B&M have the best bedding. Look at the selection that they've got. I never ever leave B&M without a bedding set. As we move over, these are the ones I was telling you about. They are the reversible bedding sets and they're at £12 for a double. Absolutely brilliant. My daughter's actually bought two of these for when she goes to university. So she's got one to wash with the other one. But they do it in a grey, a navy, a black, a cream, a blue, a sage, any colour you could think of. They've actually got them and the singles are only £8 so that is an absolute bargain. Now we haven't even touched on the kitchen stuff yet and this video I did say was going to be lengthy. So if you need to pause it, pause it now before we go to the kitchen stuff. Make yourself a nice cup of tea and come back. If you pause the video and you've come back, then welcome back. We are now in the kitchen department. One of my favourite places in B&M. These scallop plates, they're not new. I've definitely seen these last time I was in B&M, but they give me white company vibes through and through. These glasses were absolutely beautiful. They were originally £3.50, I believe, but they'd been reduced down to £1.50. They had a selection of mugs, so I believe this is their springtime mugs. They're really nice. I've actually purchased something like this previously from B&M. I absolutely loved this mug. But if you watched my TK Maxx haul, you will know I've just purchased six mugs. So I really didn't need any more. Do you have an obsession with a certain item? So I believe mine is candles and mugs. It used to be candles and pillows, but now it's candles and mugs. What is your obsession? This bowl is similar to the side plate that I've just showed you. It's got the scallop edge. Scalloped edging at the moment is everywhere and I absolutely love it. So as we move round, we can see some more neutral kitchen accessories. Now, I absolutely love anything like this. In the summertime, if you're wanting iced coffees or smoothies, these are absolutely perfect for that. Especially when you're doing content for Instagram or for YouTube. I do actually like to have a nice glass or a nice mug. Talking of mugs, I actually picked one of these up from B&M before and it got recalled. But now I see that the back out, so maybe whatever the issue was, they've sorted that and they're now saying that they can be sold again but I actually took mine back and got my money back because they said it was recalled for some reason I'm not sure what it was they've got some beautiful storage jars this is from the boho range these were £3.50 again I do like these for tea coffees and sugars however I don't have my tea coffee and sugar out on display it's not something that I've ever had out on display I just don't like having them out I like to have my worktops all clear and that reminds me I am going to be wrapping my kitchen worktop shortly so if that's something that you want to see make sure you have hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell. By hitting that notification bell YouTube will notify you every time that I have an upload. So I tend to upload on a Thursday at 8 o'clock and a Sunday at eight o'clock however I am going to be switching my content schedule so I'm going to start on Thursdays at 10 o'clock and on a Sunday I'm going to change it to eight o'clock so having that notification bell turned on will help you with my new schedule another item that is very much a dupe of the white company is this heart shaped bowl 
I do like to find dupes for you guys so like what I said if you want to see a dupes video let me know down below and I will try my very best to find some dupes for you I love a glass straw and I noticed that these ones in B&M were £3 and they also done the ones with the hearts on them. Now in my handbag I actually carry a glass straw with me because I do not like going to places where they'll give you paper straws so when they do I just switch it over to my straw that is in my bag. I am always prepared. So again I've been drawn over to the cups and the mugs. They've got a lovely selection in B&M. However, I didn't pick any up. I was quite good. Didn't need any, so I swiftly moved on away from the cups. These are new, I've not seen these before in B&M, they were £2 each and I just thought for summertime if you want an ice creams or for content purpose they would look absolutely gorgeous. Lots and lots of storage in B&M, now I've picked up things like this from Poundland recently so I didn't need any more but I just thought I would show you all the different organisation things that they've got for the fridges so that you can organise your fridge. They had some beautiful oven gloves for £4 and they also had the tea towels to match for £4. These are very spring and I just thought they were absolutely beautiful. If you don't want it so bright you could go for the grey ones which are £4 each again. And then you've got the normal ones that they always do so these are as good as any. Again, lots and lots of storage. I've seen these before, but I just thought I'd show you. I'd do a quick scan over them. They are different sizes and different prices, but to organise your pantries or your cereals, these are absolutely perfect for that. Like what I said, I don't have my tea, coffee and sugar out, but B&M did have some really nice canisters if you like yours out on your workspace. These were nice, these were £12, the ones above, they were £10. And then moving on to the baskets and the home organisation, there were some beautiful baskets in B&M today. Now, I absolutely love a basket, whether that's used as a plant pot or for toys or blankets, 
I've actually picked something similar to this up from Home Bargains in Wicker and White. It was only £2.99, so it is a little bit cheaper than B&M. I absolutely love these. I don't know what it is, I don't know what I'd put in them, but I did really like them. If they were a little bit bigger, I would have used them in my bathroom for toilet roll. But they were really nice. They were £7, which I thought was an absolute bargain. They done them in the black and they also done them in the white as well. So if you're looking for some nice little baskets, then B&M will have you covered on that. And then just like bedding, I always buy my bath mats from B&M. Now these ones are £9 if there's Get Naked, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. But some of their bathroom accessories are absolutely beautiful as well and really affordable. So if you're looking to refresh your bathroom, then head on down to B&M and take a look in there first before you look anywhere else. Now these have actually gone up in price because I remember having something similar to this and they were only £6. Now I can't remember if it was B&M or Home Bargains that I bought them from but they definitely weren't £12. I am actually looking for a new bath board so if anyone has any recommendations then please head on over to my Instagram and drop me a DM and also send me a photograph. Okay, so we do have some more bath mats. These again are £9. They said rise and shine on them. And then I did actually like this marble accessory set. So the toothbrush tumbler was £2. And then we had a little one underneath, which I'll show you in a moment. But this tray was £5. So you could store all of your skincare products on there. And then I thought for makeup, this would be absolutely brilliant. You could put cotton pads in there. It was only £8. So if you've got quite a large space in your bathroom, then you could use them items to have your products out on display. Unfortunately, my bathroom is only small, so I'd have to have something like this. But again, £18. I didn't think it was too bad. You could store your shampoos, your perfumes, your cotton pads and glass jars. But B&M have quite a selection of bathroom products now this was really nice as well I did like this very subtle and I thought this was going to be a lot heavier if you've seen the way I picked that up there I did think it was going to be heavy but it actually wasn't Okay, so these are not new because I've picked these up previously, but I haven't actually used them in my bathroom. I actually use them in my kitchen. So I've used the longer one that you can see just there. I've put my hand soap on there and my hand cream. And then the circle one I used as a candle tray. So you don't have to use these products in your bathroom. This mirror was really nice. So if I still had wood, in my bathroom I would have purchased that it was only five pound I do actually have a mirror to show you guys that was kindly gifted to me so I will show you that and I'll show that in one of my upcoming videos however I'm not going to be using it because it does need electrics now I just haven't got the time to get somebody in to put electric into my bathroom but it is a beautiful mirror so I will show you that we are coming to the end of this video. I'm just going to show you some of the storage solutions in b and I'm also going to show you a few mirrors. And then I'm just going to go over onto the towels. But you will be happy to know that we are coming to the very end of this video. And I do want to say if you are still watching, then thank you so much. It does mean a lot. I do hope that if you haven't yet subscribed after watching this video, you will consider doing so it does help my channel and i do appreciate every subscriber that i get 
and if you've been here for some time then thank you so much for your support it really does mean a lot i absolutely enjoy communicating with you all which refers me back to if you do make a comment on any of my videos i will always try my hardest to get back to you at some point i do actually work full time and the weekend is the only time that really i can sit at my laptop and communicate with you all and don't forget if you've got any recommendations so if you would like me to go and show you around any other stores then please leave me a comment down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share my content i would love to see some of my content shared by you guys over on instagram make sure if you do share it you tag me in it so that i'd be able to see it and give you a like and i'm just gonna let the rest of this video play out for you guys so you can see the selection of towels that they have in b and i do hope you've enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed filming it and until next time guys enjoy the rest of the day whatever it is you're doing and fingers crossed i will see you in my next one bye guys Thank you.